Now, new to the XY effects, we have tape stop. The tape stop effect is an extremely used effect in modern music, in, in all types of music actually. It's, it's really a great effect. It simulates the sound of you pressing stop on a, a tape player or a turntable and and you can make it slow down, do the tape stop at different speeds through the XY effects, be it a half a bar, a bar, two bars, a beat, and whatnot. Now the way the XY effects are set up, you could record all these changes to individual programs. Now if you want to apply it on your entire beat, your master outs, you could audition it, but you won't be able to record that automation. Hopefully that'll come soon. However, there are workarounds. You could export your whole song and then load that WAV file into your sequencer and just play that and you could do XY effects on the whole master track. So that's one way around it. Or you could just put all your stuff, your drums, your music, everything you use on the same program which I kind of advise against that you know when you're working in the MPC you chop a sample it creates a new program for you so the whole way of working with multiple programs is kind of the MPC way at this point all right so let's go ahead and let's check out the tape stop so I got a beat here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply that tape stop XY effect to my drums which is on track one so I'm gonna hit the XY effects button and I'm gonna make sure that I have program selected not any of our outputs remember it's program which will be able to record which will be able to automate all right and then go here to setup and that is where you can pick your present i already have it on tape stop but you have a lot of different xy effects presents i use the beat repeats probably the most but I think tape stop is going to be right up there with one I use all the time. And we got some new ones recently too. We also got wave folder. Kind of gives it like a weird 8-bit maybe video gamey sound when you're engaging it and ring mod. So okay, we have tape stop. Oh, of course, with our setup, you could adjust your attack, your release, and your wet and dry. I want to really hear it, so I'm keeping my wet and dry all the way up to 100%. Okay, with your XY effects, as you start off, coming from the left, this would do the tape stop for two bars. This would be one bar. This would be a half a bar. This would be a quarter of a bar, which I probably use the most. And this would be an eighth of a bar. And then once we get to like a sixteenth, 32 is just kind of like too fast, but I do have techniques for each one. i tell you what I use the most though is probably a quarter bar or an eighth bar. So let's just play with this and mess around with it. It's nice and all that could be recorded in Anything you want to do, naturally, you could record in those XY effects by changing your automation state here to red from green. So I just did that and it was really quick. Add a tape stop into the sequence. I'm going to add it in the beginning of the fourth bar on the one. It's going to bring it right back on the snare. And I'll do it one more time on the one. So let me unengage red, go back to green. So really quick so you could hear it back. And so you could also see the automation. You could click from the software here underneath aftertouch, your XY effects enable. And this little peak point right here is where I did that actual tape stop and if I wanted to get rid of it or something I could highlight it I could press delete and it would be gone so that's how you could go back and edit your XY effects to get them more precise or you could erase certain parts maybe you messed up on so let's listen back to it and here comes the tape stop So let's go ahead and let's actually go to one of the uh, songs that I made here and do some XY effects through the duration of the song. So once again, got my XY effects here 
and I'm going to go ahead and arm my XY effects to red to enable recording of the automation. get the idea arm it to green I dig that tape stop effect, I really do dig it. Do some crossfade. Listen to that back. It's a really useful effect. I think I'll be using it a lot in my own production.